I can already hear the owl hooting. Today I'm going to be filming one of my favourite species, uh, the hedgehog. We have at least two hedgehogs in this garden, one which is very tame and doesn't really mind my presence, and another one which is slightly skittish, so I'm going to have to move quite quietly and slowly around the hedgehogs tonight. But one of the amazing things about hedgehogs in our garden is that they are very tame. They will walk over your feet and not pay much attention if you're very still and very quiet. This is very good for wildlife filmmaking because it means I can get close-up shots without worrying too much if I'm disturbing their daily routine. Under the glow of the house lights, I waited for the hogs to appear. After half an hour, the foliage started to rustle. A single hedgehog waddled towards the plate of food. With my camera settings pushed to the max, I started to film them eating. battery on my infrared camera has just died so I've had to swap it. I've done a couple of things, I've moved myself a little bit closer to the plate of food and I've also swapped out my lens. This is my macro lens which has much lower f-stop so I'm hoping that it should let in a bit more light. The hedgehog's directly behind me. It's only really in the last three or four years where we've had hedgehogs in this garden, but we dug a pond and they seem to really like it. We also now have a little hedgehog house. We don't know if it's got any tenants yet. I think I've seen someone slide in and out, but and whilst we do supplement their diet, it's not the only thing that they're eating because we also don't use uh, slug pellets to kill our mollusks and slugs and snails are really important food source for hedgehogs. Our fence is also pretty old and full of holes. Hedgehogs need quite a large area and one of the best things you can do for them is make sure that you have holes in your fence if you have a garden so they can move around. If you've liked this video then I've got some good news. I'm planning on making a lot more of this kind of video in the future but in more exciting locations than my back garden. If you want to see those you can like and subscribe and hopefully that means the YouTube algorithm will send you those future videos. Alternatively, if you really want to help the channel, I now have a Ko-Fi page so you can buy me a coffee and help my non-existent caffeine addiction. Anyway, I'm going to go off and make myself a hot chocolate. <laughs>